right, so now we have set up our registration form so people can sign up. We have already our welcome email or our welcome email series. So let's say now we want to um, send out a one-time email, like an email newsletter that we want to send out every week, or we just have like uploaded a new YouTube video or have released a new blog post. And you want to let your subscribers know that you have a new piece of content or a new product or whatever your business is. And you want to send out a broadcast email to your subscribers. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So go to the top here and click on campaigns. And now I'm going to click on create on the top right. And now instead of going for the email automation, we're just simply going to go and create a simple email. So just click on email right here. Then again, you can create, you can choose from the different templates that they offer. If you have like, let's say a discount um, that you want to give them, you can just type in discount and then you will see all the different discount templates that you can choose from. Now, um, let's say we give them like a 20% off anniversary discount. So we just choose this template right here. And uh, that will take us back to the email editor, which is the same one that we have seen before with the automated emails. And here it's pretty straightforward. If you want to change something, just click on it, click replace and then replace it with your logo. You can change the text here just by highlighting it and then typing something in. Um, whatever you want to, you can change the images and um, you can kind of check out what's available here as well. You can add a spacer, you can add the different dividers right there. You can also add buttons that go to different links on your website um, or some pre-made blocks here if you have like, a, like this, um, like an image, like a column and stuff. So basically just craft your email right here and change this, um, the subject line again. So subject line, pre-header, from name and uh, from to uh, email address. And then before you send it out again, make sure to go to the top right, send a test, click here, send test, and then send that email to your own email address to make sure it actually looks good before you send it out to all of your subscribers. Um, also don't remember to give that email a name. So let's say um, discount October, save. And then it's pretty much finished. Um, click continue. And here you can decide on um, who you want to send that, um, that email broadcast, that newsletter to. So here's all your different email lists that you have set up. So let's say I want to send that to my YouTube subscribers, my uh, YouTube email list. Click there and then um, you can review your kind of subject line, from name and all that kind of stuff. And then you can decide on when you want to send it. So we can either send it now. So click on send now, or you can also schedule it for pretty much any time that you want. So if you prepare the email now and you want to send it in two days, just set it up right here. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you're ready, just click on schedule right there. And that will kind of schedule your email newsletter or your email broadcast and, um, when you when this email actually goes out, you will also see the statistics right here. So you will see how many people opened this email, how many people clicked any links in your email, and uh, pretty much all all those metrics that you need to kind of optimize your emails for the future. So you see what really resonates with your audience. What also makes sense is to once in a while just go to the reporting tab on the top right here and kind of check out your different analytics for how your email list is growing, how your emails are doing, um, so that you can see what emails work very well and what emails don't work very well to kind of get an overall um, view of how well you are doing and then you can optimize from there.